Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family or if you are new here, welcome Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four ranging from 15 years down to a two year old and we live as a family of six in the south east of England um, Today I've got a Tesco haul for you but before I show you what I've bought I just want to apologise to all my regular viewers I have been a bit quiet this week um, just had to deal with a few little things and um, try and get my head around a bit of news it's not completely bad and we kind of knew it was coming but um, to hear it from the professionals it still kind of took took it away took my breath away a little bit or you know I can't get the words out on how to explain it but um, I'm debating whether to do a video explaining it or not um, yeah, but that, that's for another video, okay? You've come here to see the Tesco food haul, okay? Um, happy Mother's Day as well, if you're a mother, or say Happy Mother's Day to your mum from me. Um, just want to put that out there as well. I'm a bit out of practice on recording these, aren't I? Um, Tesco haul, <laughs> here we go. Um, I've gone through my freezers, I've run my fridge right down. I will insert a clip of my fridge. And um, don't judge, it is dirty, it does need cleaning. But um, I'll show you how empty it is. <coughs> so um, I've got this shop, I've got an ad to shop coming, and then tomorrow Steve's taking me over to the food warehouse where I can stock up my freezer on convenience food as well. So there will be other food videos coming this week. But for now, we have Tesco's. Give you a quick overview on it. We've got all this, and then we've got the fresh fruit and veg down there. It did come to 144.90, and to be truthful, I don't think it was that bad because I have got some big bulky items as well. So um, let's get on and show you what I bought, shall we? We'll start right and we'll work our way left today for a change. <coughs> Excuse me. Lou roll. It's a 12 pack. But it's the size of 24. They have really compacted them down. So um, it is the equivalent of 24 rolls for £8.60. Pampers nappies for Nathan. These are purely for night time. He doesn't use these during the day. He uses Aldi and Lidl. But no matter which version of Aldi and Lidl we use, he leaks through. And Pampers is can hold it at night time. So they are why we've got them and they are 14.50 each or at Tesco's they have two for 22. So we've got them and they'll last in absolute ages. And then down here I picked up some more of the microwave rice, the basmati. This used to be 35p but it's jumped up to 50p. But um, we use these for when we have takeaways. It cuts the price right down. Um, rather than £4.20, £5 for a, a rice from the Chinese or Indian, 50p, can't go wrong. And they're quick and convenient, so they go in the cupboard. And then at the back, we have some dog food for Shadow. We've got the Tesco Complete Balance Jelly Food for £8.15 for 12 tins. She doesn't just have this, she has a variety of food because she is a very fussy dog. So she has this one, she has Asda, she has Pedigree Biscuit, as well as other food as well. So I didn't realise I'd used my stockpile of dog food up, so I've got to start building that again. So um, that's this, and then I will start buying it every week when I buy shopping now. At the top we have 10 tins of tuna, 55p each still, absolutely great. Um... Buttons has her kittens, they are six weeks old now and I will be uploading a video of them, they are all over the place, they are so adorable, cuddly and affectionate and then Marla decided to give birth on Wednesday of last week to five little kittens, not where she was meant to give birth, she decided to give birth in the front room so she's in the centre of everyone with her kittens, so um tuna all round for the girls to build them back up and to make sure they give good quality milk to their kittens 
as well as kitten food, biscuit and all that lot. So it's just a treat, but enough rambling on about that, eh? 55p tuna. Then we have four tins of sweet corn because I have depleted my stockpile of sweet corn. We use it an awful lot. Nathan absolutely loves it. It is one of his um, safe foods. So he has it quite a lot. 56p. And then at the back, we have four tins of new potatoes. A great thing to have in the cupboard for if you are short on time to do potatoes. You can just drain them and throw them in the air fryer. Or you can throw them in a curry to bulk out the chicken and make it a vegetable curry as well. Um, they are 38p each. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Still a bit croaky and mucusy. Uh, we have a super berry granola because I love this sort of stuff and I prefer it with yogurt rather than milk. And this week I plan on making my own yogurt in the slow cooker or the pressure cooker. One of the two. But um, that's why I got that. And then I got some more porridge oats for Chloe and Shane because they've been making overnight oats, chocolate flavour. So that's been filling them up, 70p. And then I got a fruit muesli because I will be making some granola bars for everyone. And having the fruit already in there makes it extra easy. That is £2.20. I got some vanilla bean paste. This is to flavour my yoghurt once I make it. Don't put it in. If you make yoghurt, don't put flavouring in while you're making it. Mix it in after. Because otherwise it stops the um, thickening process. £3.80, but that will do quite a few batches of yoghurt. And uh, we have some treats for the kids' dinners and puddings this week. I got four of the Milky Bar Slices, they are £1.10 at Tesco's, £1.35 at Asda, so I don't know why there's such a big difference there. Some Nesquik Milk Slices, £1.10 again. Two packets of the Lighter Mature Cheese at 2 pounds for 400 grams. I plan on doing um, twice baked potatoes this week. I've always fancied them, I've always bought them already done and they're not all nice. So um, I'm going to go all out and try and make them this week. And I will start recording the meals of the week as well this, this time. Again, sorry I haven't been, just not in the right headspace, but I will start recording. Not tonight because I'm out for dinner for Mother's Day. But starting tomorrow I will start recording and showing you what I'm cooking. And then we have the natural yoghurt. It is a, how big are you? 500 gram. And this is the starting agent for my natural yoghurt because it will be literally like four pints of yoghurt that I make. So it makes an awful lot. And this just literally has the good bacteria in there and starts it to thicken and does its thing, if that makes sense. Um, one pound five. Elm Lee double cream I have free because I always have some of these in my fridge but um, we used the last one the other day it has a really long shelf life so they're always great to have in the fridge I couldn't go over the price of them where I haven't bought them since before Christmas £1.65 each just like they used to be just a pound so um, that was a bit of a shock then we have two lots of six pints of blue top milk Again, for the yoghurt and for Nathan and the kids, Nathan's bottles and the kids' cereals and stuff, 2 35 We have some original shredded wheat. This is for Steve's breakfasts and I plan on making some shredded wheat chocolate nests for a little treat for the kids. That was £3.20. I got some Jordan's Crunchy... Let me move it out of the way. Sorry, one second. There we go. We've got some Jordan's Strawberry Crun uh, Country Crisp. £3.60 that box would have cost me. But I weren't going to pay that price. Um, it's on club card down to £1.80. Um, Tesco's version was £1.75. But I thought I'll pay the extra 5p because chances are this is better, slightly better quality. And hopefully a bit more fruit in there than Tesco's. 
And then we've got the sandwich meat that's kind of a staple. We've got the ham for 189. And then the wafer thin roast chicken slices for 350. And then we have some I can't believe it's not butter for one pound fifty. Cocktail sausages, a staple that we have to have in the fridge for Nathan. It's like his safe food. Um, three forty-five or on club card at the moment for two fifty. So they will go in the fridge, and then whenever he wants a snack, I'll give him some of them, or they might end up in the kids' pack lunches and stuff. As well as these for Nathan as well. They're a good source of protein and it is real chicken. And other than chicken nuggets with Nathan, um, it is kind of hard to get meat into him. So um, on the advice of um, the paediatrician, he's going on, he's on multivitamins so that he gets the, all the vitamins and minerals and that. But he said literally, give him whatever he eats. Okay, don't worry about the variety. If he eats, that is the main thing. So um, that is why we got these. Um, one pound sixty, but they're on club card down to a pound for three bags. So they are mainly for Nathan. A big pot of coleslaw because that will go in Steve's sandwiches, as well as we are having pulled pork this week, and Steve can't have pulled pork without coleslaw. So that was ninety one p. We have this um, gold top milk. It is like literally cream this is what we used to have chloe on when she needed to put weight on but um she doesn't like it no more because of the bad memories but this is what i'm going to put in my yogurt to make it extra thick and creamy as well as some blue top milk because she does use a lot of the yogurt and um obviously i want to use it for puddings as well because we've got stuff that you can mix in and it'll just make like muller corner yogurts so um, that is why I got that. It is pound sixty, but literally it is luxurious creamy milk. So, and it's full fat, so it's really good for Nathan as well. I got a whole bunch of bacon potatoes. There's 15 there. I bought them loose because whenever I've bought the bags of bacon potatoes, they've been really, really small. So I thought if I bought them loose, hopefully they'd be bigger. But, um, you know, they're, they're a decent size. They're okay for the twice-baked potatoes this week. Um, we won't use all these. I'll do them all. And then, obviously, I'll do a batch for eating then and then a batch for eating an another day and they'll go in the freezer. But all the baked potatoes cost me £2.98. So that's for them. I got two packets of the plain flour because plain flour is like a staple for everything i have self-raising i have all the others but plain i'm running low on so i've got to start buying a few more bags of that it's 58p so i want to buy a few more before it starts going up in price because it is going to go we've got some more jumbo oats they are 2.95 or on club card at the moment for two pounds the kids use these oats as well as the porridge oats when they do their overnight oats <laughs> How many times can I say oats in one sentence? Um, so that they get a mixture of textures, which is good. So um, that's for the overnight oats and probably some for the um, granola bars as well that I make or muesli bars or whatever you want to call them. Um, freezers. The only thing I bought for the freezers this week from Tesco's is fish portions. We've got two packets of the four battered white fish fillets for 2 35 because we are having fish and chips one night. And then we've got some chicken kiefs down at the bottom for £3.5 for four. Um, obviously, I need two boxes for each meal because obviously I've got growing teenagers and adults in the house. One box won't be enough. So we are having um, kiefs, new potatoes and veg one night as well. Um, I will insert the meal plan at the end of this video so you guys can see what I aim to cook <laughs> aim being the word um, we've got an iceberg lettuce for 65p for sandwiches and side salads we've got all our usual melons we've got the honeydew for 169 the gala is normally 190 but it's on club card for £1 at the moment we've got the watermelon for £3.50 
and then we got the cantaloupe which is £1.90 so they will all be chopped up tonight ready for packed lunches and snacking in the fridge we've got a what are you you are a sweetheart cabbage for 62p that will be a side for one night this week sugar snap peas for £1.5 they are for Shane's pat lunch three cucumbers because two just is never enough for our family for the week 75p each spring onions to go in our twice baked potatoes we have the usual six packets of the sliced apples for Shane's pat lunches and then we'll have a couple spare which will either end up in Steve's pat lunch or Haley's. We got two heads of broccoli at 72p each. We got two bags of the baby potatoes for £1.20. They are literally for a couple of meals this week. We have the cauliflower, which is not very big at all, but it was 95p. I've been um, starting to buy fro a lot more frozen veg as well now because some of the quality of fruit and veg is becoming really hard to get a good, a nice version of it, if that makes sense. So I'm starting to stock up on um, frozen veg as well now. Um, but I do, even though frozen veg is frozen at like peak time, like as soon as it's been picked, why is it, or is it just me, that you kind of feel slightly guilty for serving the family frozen veg that might just be me but i don't know why i do i always i mean for all we know this cat this cauliflower could have been picked two weeks ago and um it's lost half its goodness whereas frozen cauliflower would have been frozen within a couple of hours and it's probably still got all its nutrients but um yeah like i said that's just me just me probably feeling guilty <laughs> um 95p for a pineapple that's not ripe yet, so we won't cut that up tonight. Two bags of carrots. I did choose the um, wonky carrots, uh, 1.5 kg, but they substituted it for these ones. So this is just um, 1 kg for the same price. Doesn't bother me, carrots are carrots. We have Nathan's bananas for the week. We have, um, how many did I order? 15, I think, and they cost me... £2.11 and the bonus is some are green and some are ripe now so he's fine with them we got two punnets of strawberries because I could not order raspberries or blueberries online they had none so when we go out to the shops tomorrow I will buy him some raspberries and strawberries uh, raspberries and blueberries but for now he will be absolutely over the moon with strawberries they are normally £2.30 but on club card at the moment down to two pound and they look you know they look okay the nice big ones obviously i'll cut them up for him Haley might end up with a few in these her pack lunch as well but that's them and then here asparagus um i love the stuff i put it on the kids plates they nibble at it so it's just an ex it's a different type of veg that i try and get the kids to eat and at the moment it's normally two pound for this little bunch but it's on club card down to nine down to 99p god i'm starting to not talk properly so i've got two of them they are going to go alongside some barbecue chicken balls that i plan on doing with rice so um it's kind of a new recipe this week that i'm gonna try it's not really a recipe it's something i've seen people do and i like the idea of it so um that is everything <coughs> love cough sorry right so that is everything I'll do a quick over overview for you again i am sorry i haven't uploaded no videos this week or been very talkative but um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so that you know so i know that you like what i do if you are new here and like a lot of shopping hauls hit the subscribe button hit the notification button and share my videos with all your loved ones and anyone you think will like it. I do a lot of shopping hauls on this video. As well as um, prepping pantry. Like pantry prepping for a rainy day. And meals of the week and pet lunches. So um, happy Mother's Day again to you all. 
I will insert at the end of this video a quick overview of my dirty, bald, empty fridge and I will insert the meal plan now. So take care and I will see you again soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I told you I'd show you my fridge. Don't judge. I know it looks a bit dirty. I've got to clean it. But this is how empty and run down I have made my fridge. The fruit and veg is like empty. We've just got some... What have we got in here? We've got a few potatoes, a bit of celery, a bit of salad and some tomatoes. Bacon, which is always a great staple to have in the fridge. We've got the pulled pork joint defrosting. Steve has these monsters in here. We've got some sausage rolls left over. Some pizza from the other night. <laughs> Pancakes from yesterday's breakfast. And then this is like the um, pat lunch drawer. So all the cheeses and kids pat lunch bits go in there. We've got our butters and fats there. All our condiments that are running low. And then all like the jars and things in there. They're all turned around because the kids have been in here. So that's all them. And then we just got the eggs and cheese drawer at the top. <coughs> and then more on here. But literally, I told you my fridge was emptying. So um, I might insert a video, uh, another view of this once everything's in here. I might not, but I've got to clean it. Look. <laughs> so um, I will see you later. Bye. Here is our meal plan for the week. So on Monday, we're going to have garlic kiefs, spuds and veg. Tuesday, we're going to have pulled pork, part baked rolls and chips. Wednesday, we're going to have honey garlic chicken noodles. Thursday, we're going to have stewed steak, spuds and veg. And the way I do spuds is because I don't know what type of potato we're going to do on the day, whether it be mash, roast, new potatoes. So I just put spuds. Um, I've got loads of stewing steak in the freezer that I'm going to use up. I'm just going to put it in the slow cooker with um, some onions and carrots and gravy and then just serve it with a bit of fresh veg like broccoli or cauliflower and then the potatoes. Um, Friday we're going to have fish and chips. Saturday we're going to have barbecue chicken balls, rice and asparagus. It literally is nice chicken balls that you buy from food warehouse or Iceland I'm going to cook them then toss them in some barbecue sauce and then put them back in the oven to glaze up and then we're going to have that with rice and asparagus and then Sunday rather than the usual roast I've got loads of pork chops in the freezer with different marinades on so I'm going to use some of them I'm going to <coughs> I'm sorry do the twice baked potatoes and then either a side salad or some veggies with that. So that is our dinner for this week, the dinner plan. So um, let's see if we stick to it, shall we? So uh, I'll see you soon.